Have you ever found yourself pleasing others to gain approval from those around you, rather than focusing on your personal interests? If so, there's nothing to be worried about, because many of us have found ourselves in similar circumstances. Since the beginning of high school, I've consciously tried to prevent myself from trying to gain approval from others. Regardless of the efforts you exert, I realize that you will never be able to please everyone that you need. Some may like you, and others might not. And that's natural. Validation is like medicine. If you're feeling unwell, you may take some ibuprofen, but after its effects wear off, you may feel the need to retake it. Correspondingly, validation can be approached with a similar concept. During quarantine, a period of self-reflection and introspection aided us to realize that a majority of our time is spent constantly contemplating on how others perceive us and whether our time is being used productively and efficiently. An important thing to consider is that validation is short-lived. When you achieve an accomplishment and are praised, naturally you enjoy, but after the wave of praise wears off, you constantly feel the need to be validated in hopes to feel a sense of fulfillment. For example, if you take medication too frequently, you will start to build resistance against it and will require an increase in dosage to attain the same effect. This can also be seen with the need to gain approval. Both medication and validation, if taken at the right time with the right dosage, can prove to be beneficial. The adequate amount of medicine can aid in recovery and improve your health. Likewise, sometimes all you need is a little bit of pressure and motivation to help you accomplish your objectives. For as long as I can remember, my aunt has called me a nickname, Dr. Vidya, which essentially means my beloved doctor, in the hope that I would want to become a doctor when I grow up. It was one of the factors that motivated me to develop an interest for the medical field, discover my desired career, and help the community. Until recently, I didn't think too much about becoming a pediatrician and didn't research about the necessary steps. My passions in science, pediatric care, and volunteering helped strengthen my aspiration to fulfill my objective. Rather than engrossing yourself to gain approval and recognition from others, aspire to become your ideal self and accomplish your goals and your dreams. Context is to influence as a resume is to recognition. For example, if you're the President of the United States, then you have both power and influence. But if you identify with the President, you have power through association. Similarly, having a dignified resume can aid in getting accepted to prestigious colleges, therefore gaining accreditation in the community. Often, students attempt to accumulate credentials to include in the resume. This could include internships, competitions, sports recruitments, followed by other accolades. As ninth grade begins, our transcript starts to form, causing students to worry about taking the right courses for their future. Personally, I felt that it is beneficial to choose classes that relate to your career choice, such as anatomy, chemistry, biology, and statistics. On the other hand, I have wanted to pursue a career in the business field, which requires me to take classes such as psychology, marketing, business law, statistics, etc. After fulfilling these course requirements, we also have to consider participating in various extracurricular activities. As students, we are expected to go to school for seven hours a day, five days a week, engage in after-school activities, complete our homework, volunteer, and somehow get eight hours of sleep. When we try to address this struggle, adults silence us by stating that they too had to suffer through similar circumstances alongside other conflicts. With all these expectations, many individuals ignore blatant symptoms that can cause irritability, fatigue, burnout, and a heightened sensitivity to sickness, which can all be caused by peer pressure, poor diets, and irregular sleeping habits. Although adolescence has been viewed as a period of storm and stress by many psychologists, Stress can continue to surface throughout adulthood. Comparable to health careers, such as lawyers and physicians, or were undervalued in the 1600s. A modern stereotype has formed where such professions are of an elevated status when compared to careers such as models, dancers, and teachers. Individuals often aspire to venture into non-traditional careers, but often hesitate due to parental and societal expectations to choose a well-received career. The primary rationale behind this reasoning is job stability and cumulative earnings. 
due to this, the concept of job satisfaction is often overlooked. If they do decide to oppose the community and choose a rather controversial profession, people have the pressure and compulsion to prove the validity of their career and exhibit their success. After graduating, individuals obtain additional responsibilities that may require accountability and management. Furthermore, in order to adhere to societal standards, people agonize about getting married and finding a suitable life partner. In Indian culture, it is common for the parents to present a suitable bride or groom for their child. Oftentimes, the parents or matchmaker will present a suitable partner for their child to meet. The new Netflix original, Indian Matchmaking, addresses a major and generalized issue that is often overlooked in the Indian society. Especially for women, after you pay past the age of 26, you slowly begin to feel the intense pressure of getting married and settling down. You will feel like you're surrounded by unattainable expectations, but ultimately you should do what is best for you. It is important to realize that you should be living life only on your terms, not anyone else's. When conversing with parents and referencing the so many articles, we discovered that parents receive an abundance of tips and tricks to help them when expecting their first child. Regardless of whether their advice is helpful, they effectively implement the underlying formation of competition. Parents offering advice often gloat about their child's accomplishments and draw comparisons. After discoursing, parents become concerned about their child's progress and worry of the vine in the race. This reminds us of a movie called Hindi Medium, which showcases the harsh realities of school admissions in India. After watching the movie, we realized that gaining admission into prestigious schools is a money-making business that is prevalent throughout various nations. In the movie, the parents were required to attend an interview to make sure they were of a particular monetary and societal standing before the child can be given consideration for admission. Equivalent to how trifling preschool is, parents should avoid coercing their child into participating in numerous activities and straining themselves solely to satisfy societal standards. Criticizing students by comparing them against their peers is an example of demoralization which depletes self-confidence and diminishes mutual adoration between students. Recognizing that every child is unique and has their own strengths and capabilities is an important perspective that everyone should possess. Instead of dismaying a child with persistent pressure and comparison, finding innovative and uplifting methods of constructive criticism can drastically improve self-perception and inspire creativity. Throughout one's life, they face several complications and adversities that influence their future and improve their outlook on life. Based on experience, people may opinionize that adolescents suffer through more drastic changes than adults or vice versa. Furthermore, there are countless similarities among stressors when complicating different stages of life. Similar to how we were stressed during midterms week, adults face analogous circumstances during grueling weeks in their line of work. Along with these stressors, people face constant character judgment and comparison based on their actions, capabilities, and accomplishments. In high school, there's persistent collocation between students regarding class rank, AP awards, and other academic accolades. Similarly, when employed, people face the constant struggle to attain promotions, higher salaries, bonuses, and recognition. With all these aspirations set in place, the need to gain approval increases because individuals place higher expectations on themselves and desire to seek the validation of the community. I have experienced this firsthand during my Adding Atrium or dance graduation in South Indian classical dance. This taught me how to focus on my goals and stop worrying about fulfilling others' wishes. Several people would comment on the food, the decor, or the attire, rather than observing the culmination of our hard work. This experience helped me realize that I should only focus on factors that I can control. With the more relatable aspect, the increasing popularity and usage of social media has caused a majority of the population to seek some form of validation based on the number of likes and comments they receive. Some people unknowingly attach their self-worth on trivial matters such as follower count and social status. As the need for validation increases, their lives begin to revolve around insignificant matters which can later cause problems in their personal and professional lives. 
This may later affect their mental state and increase their vulnerability to anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, and self-loathing. These issues have only recently been taken seriously, and now there are several facilities that give individuals the help they need. Many times, the symptoms displayed are disregarded until a setback causes everyone to notice them. Additionally, there are various duty and relationship standards that fail to portray the reality. Everything that you see on social media should be taken with a grain of salt. Social media should be used as a tool for interaction and entertainment rather than as a source of jealousy and competition. For some, popularity has the same importance as maintaining a work-life balance, parenting, and stability. Ultimately, the premise of our speech revolves around validation and its impacts on both self and society. We understand that it is easier to advise than to follow, but taking steps towards consciously aiming to prevent yourself from people pleasing can drastically improve your quality of life and self-image. Conversely, society should encourage and empower others to fulfill their dreams rather than judging or discouraging them. Our vision for future generations is to realize and understand that life is not a race, there is no finish line, and that everyone is on a different path that they must discover for themselves. Thank you.